everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And you see this box and you see this big pink T20, you know what that means. It is time for dorking with dice on ice. That's right, we are doing vintage hockey again today on the dorking with dice program. And uh, if you haven't seen this before, there are 20 packs in the dorking box and 20 sides on this uh, big die that I will roll, and depending upon what number comes up, that is the number pack that we will pull out of this box and open up right here on the Card Wolf Network. And we usually roll about uh, three or four packs, depends on how we do. So you can look forward to that today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I refilled the box from last time with several new packs, never before opened on the channel. Some really good vintage hockey stuff in here, really good stuff. And I'll show you what this pack is in a moment because that is one that I'm adding to the number 20 spot. If you've seen this program before, you know that the number one, number 10, and number 20 spots in the dorking box are usually pretty awesome packs. And I'll recap. Last week, I showed you that the number one pack is a 1988 Tops pack, possibility of a Joe Sackick rookie, lots of Hall of Famers, lots of other great cards in there. And the number 10 spot is this 1976-77 Tops Hockey Pack. This is a big one. You can pull a Brian Trottier rookie out of here. Also, uh, lots of uh, cool inserts, tons of Hall of Famers. It's a pretty big pack. Usually goes for between $50 and $100 a pack. So really hoping that we open that one. And I can see what is in there. Some minty fresh cards from 77 70 or 76, 77. And then what am I putting in the number 20 spot? What is this pack? What could it be? It is a 1984 Topps Hockey Pack. And for those of you who don't know, that's Steve Iserman Rookie comes out of that. Steve Iserman Rookie. Pat LaFontaine also has a rookie out of this set. And of course, there are plenty of Hall of Famers, including early cards from uh, Peter Stastny, Yari Curry, um, Paul Coffey, and the great one, Wayne Gretzky, also in this. So uh, some great packs in here for us, and that's not even showing you what some of these other packs are. Believe me, there's some good stuff in here. A lot of these I have never opened on the channel before, so it's going to be very exciting. Even if you don't like hockey that much, and how, how could you not like hockey? I don't understand, but if that's true, I still think you'll enjoy seeing what we get out of here should be some good stuff today. Of course, the uh, playoffs in the NHL are in full swing. Looks uh, very interesting with uh, the Lightning and the Rangers really battling it out. Uh, the Rangers took the first two games, and now the Lightning have taken three in a row. They will meet again tomorrow night, and uh, if Tampa Bay pulls that one out, then they will go face the Avalanche in the Stanley Cup Finals next week. So uh, be, be very curious to see how the playoffs go this weekend. Looking forward to those games. And of course, the Stanley Cup should be very exciting as well. So let's get underway here. I have no other preambles, nothing else to get in the way other than to thank you for coming out to the channel today. So uh, let's roll this up and see how we do. What is our first pack going to be? It's going to be, whoa, it's going to be off the table. All right, let's try that again. Let's get it up here. There we go. Number, that is a number six because it has a little dot down in the corner there. As you can see, I can move it up closer to the camera so you can really see it right there. Of course, it's not going to get into focus, but it is a six. You'll have to... This camera is so irritating sometimes. There you go. Now you can see there's the six with the little dot. So let's open pack number six, see what that is. There's two and four. And pack number six is this one. It is 1994 bilingual Donruss Hockey, and this is 1994 update, no less, so there should be some rookie cards in here. Every card is borderless and foil stamped, for whatever that's worth, I don't know, but uh, anyway, I've never opened this on the channel before. I haven't opened this probably since about 1994. This came from the card closet, as did most of these packs, and are things that I've had for many years. I, I don't know if I have another pack of this. I think this is probably the only one I have. So it's very exciting for me to open this Donruss 1994 update. Very cool. When's the last time you saw one of these open? I, I tell you, I, I really don't think I've opened one since 1994. So it's pretty exciting here. Let's see how we do from our 1994 Donruss. Pretty nice card design as as promised. It is borderless. There, These are full bleed cards, which is pretty cool. This is uh, 
Larley Zala Zalapsky, Larley Zalapsky from uh, the Flames. I honestly don't remember him. I have to say, I'm sure, sure some of you Flames fans remember him fondly. There's Stuart Malgunas from uh, the Flyers. Nice card design. What the back looks like. The backs are nice too. Nice picture on the back. These are pretty nice cards. I have to say, big set. You can see that uh, Larley here is a uh, number four ten. So. Big set, of course, this is the update, so these might just all be high numbers. I don't know. I'm going to put him down because, no, this isn't sticking. It's just I couldn't get it uh, there. This is Randy McKay, and uh, this one is backwards, so uh, it looks like, no, it doesn't doesn't seem to matter if these are backwards. I'm just going to flip the whole stack. And then we get uh, Mika Abazov. I have to say I don't remember Mika or Mika either. And uh, behind him we've got uh, Phil Crow. Left wing for the Kings, Eric Weinreich from the Hawks, and here is a nice insert. This is uh, the USA 1994 Blurry Junior Championship here. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, come on, this camera is really irritating me today. All right, there we go. Nope, nope, still doesn't want to do it. All right, there we go. That's much better. Okay, so this is uh, Jamie Wagenbrunner, and that is the USA 94 World Junior Championship insert card. Getting a reflection of my camera there. Let me see if I can tilt this a different way. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Anyway, it's extremely shiny. It is a very shiny card. And uh, yeah, there's the back for you. Let's get this down there. That's better. Anyway, very shiny card, as you can see. And you can see my uh, camera there as well. So what do we have here? This is uh, Ulf Dahlen, left wing for the Sharks. And uh, behind Ulf, we have Bob Basin from uh, the Nordiques, and our last card is Martin Gelinas from the Canucks. So, no big star power in that pack, but very interesting to see those cards. I haven't seen those in quite a long time, and a uh, pretty neat pack of uh, Donruss Update. So that was uh, pack number six. Let's see what we roll now for our second pack of the day. It's going to be number 16. Number 16. So we know this is 20 and 19, 18, 17, and this is number 16. What do we have here? This is 93-94 Topps Premier Series 1 with a Premier Gold card in every pack, so that's pretty cool. See how we do out of this one. Topps Premier Gold cards are uh, pretty good, especially if you get a Hall of Famer, or a nice rookie, something like that. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We start off with Peter Bondra from uh, the Caps, Peter Bondra, longtime NHL player who is uh, severely out of focus. Man, I don't know what my camera's problem is today. It's really uh, struggling to keep up with what I want it to do. Yarmir Yager, all right, now we're talking. That is solid right there. I'm not sure I actually even have that card. That's a pretty sweet card. It's not a rookie or anything, but it is a nice Yager card. Great one there to put into the uh, Wolf Lair. Chris Chelios, that's not a bad card either. It's later in his career, but nonetheless, great uh, player and on the defense for many years. And uh, what we have here, this is uh, Vincent Dabhouse, another good player. Wow, this one is loaded with good stuff. That's great. And uh, here we've got uh, the gold card is uh, Michael Pettit. Michael Pettit from the Flames. Don't remember him that well. Are these backwards? Yeah, let's just flip the whole stack. Do it that way. Nicholas Lidstrom, there's another great one. I might have to put that in the, uh, the Wolf Lair as well. Nicholas Lidstrom, a uh, great defensive player as well. That's a nice one. What do we have here? Sideways card of Ted Donato. Not a bad one either. And Brent Fedyk. And uh, looks like we got an insert card. It looks like it might be a uh, black gold card actually coming up here. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. Rob Pearson from the Leafs. And uh, what is this? Andrew McBain, who I do not remember. And uh, Dixon Ward from the Canucks. And then uh, this one looks like it's inserty. It does look uh, shiny. Look at that. We'll do a slow reveal on this one. Maybe you guys will know before I do what Jets player this is. It is a black gold card of Alexei Zamnov. Alexei Zamnov, not someone that I am uh, honestly that familiar with and don't remember, but uh, maybe you guys will too. These are really nice cards, as you can see. It's got the gold foily stuff on the back and uh, lots of foily stuff on the front. Man, what is, what is up with this camera going out of focus constantly today? I'm going to 
apologize in advance for anything that I, I somehow miss where it stays out of focus for a while. I'll try to keep my eye on the camera. Anyway, nice black gold pull there. Not too bad. And a couple of cards that will go into my PC, the Lidstrom and the Yarmir Jagger. It's time to roll for another one of these packs. I feel like uh, we, we finally uh, heated up there with that one. Let's see if we can keep that streak going. Number four is what we're going to open here. So that's three. And number four is this black pack. What is this? This is Pro Set who claim to be the hottest cards on ice and used to cost 55 cents. Uh, they do not cost 55 cents any longer, if you can even find them. This is the 91-92 Series 1, and uh, this has 15 cards in it and a game piece. And uh, we'll see exactly what that looks like. I remember Pro Set does have some inserts, but most, most of what I remember getting at Pro Set is a lot of base cards. So see how that is. They're attractive cards, though. They're, they're certainly nice cards. Nothing, nothing wrong with Pro Set cards. As you can see, these are also uh, full bleed borderless cards, which was once a, a big selling point, apparently. Bruce Driver starts us off from the Devils. Jamie McCoon, who I do not remember. Wayne Presley from the Blackhawks, Glenn Healy, goalie for the Islanders, Owen Nolan, good skater for the Nordiques, Craig McTavish from the Oilers, and there's Flurry. Good to see Flurry. I may have to put that in the old uh, Wolf Lair as well. Let's put uh, Flurry over there. This is not a rookie, but it is an early card of him, I believe. Pretty neat. Craig Simpson, another Oiler out of this, and Ron Hextall, great goalie for many years in the NHL, Ron Hextall. Rod Brindamore, another longtime NHLer. And that guy, Wayne Gretzky. What? That is awesome. Very nice to see that. That I believe is an all star card. He's in his little all star uniform there. Pretty cool. Like to see that one. That definitely goes in the Wolfler. I don't think I have that Gretzky. Bob McGill is next. And Adam Oates. And uh, looks like we might have. What is this coming up here? We've got something unusual coming up here. Bobby Smith, also in the show for a long time. What is this stuff? What is going on here? I do not remember any of this kind of thing. Some of these sepia tone cards. Phantom Joe Malone, the NHL's first scoring leader. One of the craftiest skaters and most accurate marksmen ever to play in the NHL. Well, how about that? That's pretty neat. This is in celebration of the uh, Hockey Hall of Fame anniversary that I mentioned on the front of the pack. So these are really cool. And I do not remember these cards at all. There's another one. And this is of uh, Bill... Barocco, The End of Innocence. I don't remember this one. That was one of the most celebrated, scored one of the most celebrated goals during the 51 Stanley Cup Finals between the Leafs and the Canadiens. Pretty interesting. Very uh, cool card there you can check out. Some old school hockey action. Those are cool cards. Dennis Savard, another all-star card there. Savard, certainly a very good player. And then this is uh, some kind of a uh, contest thing, which we'll toss aside because we do not want or need that. So we pulled a Gretzky out of there. We pulled some uh, very cool uh, Hockey Hall of Fame type cards. That was very neat. I'd forgotten all about those. So let's see. We are going to roll. Uh, usually we do three or four. I say we do four today. What do you guys think? A fourth one? Yeah? All right. I hear the cheers of the crowd. <clears throat> Pardon me. I hear the cheers of the crowd saying we should do four. So we shall... Oh, we already rolled six. We already rolled six, so we got to roll again. We want a one, a ten, or a twenty. Instead, we get a two right between the ten and twenty. Come on, man. All right, let's open number two then, and that will be... Uh, oops, jeez, if I can manage not to drop it. That will be the uh, last pack of this episode of uh, Dorking with Dice. This is Topps Hockey 1991 with uh, special scoring leaders glossy card inside. Those are actually pretty nice. Those scoring leaders cards are, are actually uh, well done. And uh, this is uh, 15 cards, and I can't remember what inserts were in 1991 Topps Hockey. Man, this is really good heavens. Wow, that was that was uh, some serious glue they used on there, I have to tell you that. All right, let's get this out of here, put that aside. And I think these are split down the middle, so we'll... Uh, Open this up, hopefully, without giving too much away. Like that. All right, and I think this is probably the scoring leader card right in the middle, and we got Essa Tikanen. He was the team scoring leader for the Oriole, Oilers. Orioles. <laughs> team scoring leader for the Oilers in 1991. I guess Gretzky had departed 
by that point, as had all of the other greats that were on the Oilers then. I honestly don't remember this player very well. But uh, here's another Oiler, Jeff Smith. And uh, we got Kerry Wilson there from the Flames. He looks very... He looks very skeptical about something that just occurred on the ice. He doesn't look like he quite trusts it. And there's uh, jo Kajel Samuelson, Kirk Muller, Cal Johansson. That's not a bad card. That's a pretty good card there, actually. That's a good pull. Ken Lindsman and Chris Terreri. I don't remember Chris Terreri, but clearly he was a goalie for the Devils for some time. Super rookie of Bobby Holick. Super rookie of Bobby Holick. I don't know how much of an impression he made after this year. Laurie Boschman's good center for the Devils for some time. Matthew Schneider for the Canadiens. Al McGinnis, nice all-star card of a really good hockey player for many years, Al McGinnis. And Ray Ferrero. Ray Ferrero always seemed to have that sort of I'm about to go slug some guy sort of look on his face. I remember it would be kind of a rough customer out there. Stefan Richer. And we finished off with Mark Howe. All right, Mark out, not a bad pull either. All right, so that is Dorking with Dice on Ice today. Four packs, and our best cards, in my opinion, were these from Pro Set. We got a Wayne Gretzky and a Flurry as well. And uh, from Topps Premier, we got a Yager and a Litstrom. Pretty happy with those pulls, not too bad. We also got some some inserts and some Hockey Hall of Fame cards. The Savard I left on top, because that one's not bad either. Pretty good day for... Uh, Dorking with Dice on Ice. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, I appreciate you guys coming out to the channel today. It is Friday, and I hope you've got a great weekend plan. Some uh, hockey watching and baseball watching and some relaxing uh, with uh, whatever you may be doing. It's hotting up here where I live. It's getting really hot. It's supposed to be in the 90s this weekend, which uh, I do not like. I'd rather it just snowed all year, which is why... I chose to live in the mountains, but uh, anyway, we're getting a lot of heat this weekend, and I'll probably just uh, go out in the mornings and hang out with the kids and then uh, stay inside where it is air-conditioned. Maybe I'll open some more packs. I don't know if I'll have time for an episode this weekend. You guys know I do weekdays and often skip the weekends because uh, I've usually got a lot of stuff going on with the family, but uh, we'll see how it goes. If I don't see you this weekend, I will certainly see all of you on Monday. Have a great time with whatever you decide to do. And uh, thanks so much for all of your kind words in the comments and for coming out, checking out the videos here on the Card Wolf Network. As always, happy collecting.